Hi, my name is Miss Holly, and I'm the art therapist at KVC Hospitals. We wanted to reach out and show you a couple art techniques that you can use at home with yourself to self-reflect or with your family to kind of have this group process to create and then share kind of an experience where you can ask some questions, have a conversation, and also have fun at the same time. So what I'm gonna show you today is watercolor techniques. So what we're going to need today, if you have one at home, is a good way to start with a watercolor palette, a white crayon, a watercolor brush, and some water. And then a piece of paper. You can use just copy paper, or if you have watercolor at home, watercolor paper at home, then that's kind of your best option in regards to using it to really hold all the paint. So the three techniques I'm gonna show you today is your tools that you're gonna to use to create your painting. I'm gonna show you splatter, I'm gonna show you the crayon resistant watercolor uh, technique and also the drip technique. So we'll get started. The first one I'm gonna show you is splatter. So that's, you're gonna take, let's go with your favorite color. So my favorite color is gonna be a blue. Blue makes me feel calm, it represents calm to me. So creating symbolism through color is also one way to approach this project today. And so we're gonna take our brush filled with color and water and we're gonna tap our brush to then see kind of how there's some dots appearing on our paper. You can also use a toothbrush and kind of rub the bristles and it'll flick and create a very similar pattern. So now I have some splatters on my paper and this is the splatter technique. The next one I'm gonna show you is the crayon resistant watercolor technique. So this one's fun to, it's like hidden writing and you're gonna take the white crayon and you're gonna create a design. I'll do some like stars then I'm gonna pick another color this is the color when I feel happy which is yellow and I'm also really excited with yellow so you're gonna take the color and a lot of water you're gonna go over where you did the crayon marking. And then wherever you didn't mark, it's gonna leave behind the, the mark that you created. So this is pretty cool. You can use this as a way to like write hidden messages or have as a way to block out a space that you don't want to be filled. The last one I'm going to show you is the drip technique. So this one is similar to like a cloud in the similar processing of like it accumulates a lot of water and then once it gets heavy it's going to fall and create the drip. So I'm going to choose different color. I'm going to choose red. And so you're going to pick a spot on your paper and I'm just going to show you in this way. And you're going to keep adding water and color to the same area. And you're going to need a lot of water. And then once gravity hits in and enough water is there, it's going to drip down the paper so you get this really cool effect and you can also turn your paper so you can kind of direct where it goes and you shake it and then you have a little bit more control over where it's going So using these three techniques, um, I created a prompt that you can use with self-reflection or within your family. And so the prompt is, what are your current feelings and emotions? As an example, 
example of the three techniques and using the prompt of what are your current feelings and thoughts. So here is um, my painting that I did I, when I was channeling or kind of thinking inside of um, my head of where I'm at and in my body. I was feeling really anxious and that felt really heavy for me and it reminded me of a cloud. A cloud where it was raining out. So the yellow represented for me um, happiness and joy that there were some things that were really positive in my life and the red represented um, kind of stability and strength of people that supported me and green was like I feel like I'm in good health and then this um, part right here was blue and then kind of streaming out an orange was all that anxiety and it felt really heavy and overwhelming at the time and so I used the drip technique and the splatter to create a cool effect of a, like a watercolor cloud raining and so something maybe if I was to reflect on this with myself or journal or talk about it with my family I would be like what colors did you choose and what do they represent for you? And the colors that you have, um, are they interacting with each other? Are they separate from each other? And then maybe talk about, so what are the things, the, the feelings that you have and what are some things that are making you feel that way? So these are some questions or ways to think about the paintings that you come up with or ones that you can talk about with your family and then processing it or whatever fun way that you want to talk. But it's important in when we are creating and when we are using symbolism, uh, ways to, ex it's a way for us to express to talk, to communicate, when sometimes it's hard to communicate what we're really feeling and understand the insides of our body and our minds and to outlet it to others. So I wanted to take a quick moment to show you a couple techniques and some tools that you have so you can create um, your own watercolor piece and it will, there's endless results of what yours can look like and I'm excited to hopefully share this with you and you're able to use this to reflect or have a really cool experience with your family. Mm -hmm.